seen Doug's beard at its longest than you've seen my hair at its wild. <laughs> when we met it was probably down to my shoulders and it was some pretty big Sammy Hagar early 80s hair. <laughs> and, and she had blue eyes that embarrassed the, the sky and her teeth were just like radiant white and I just went wow. I didn't know who she was. I just was captivated by her beauty. Early 1990s. I met them both at uh, Coronado High School. Uh, Doug was an ROP teacher, which is a regional occupational program, and was teaching graphic design, and uh, Ms. McKinstry was a English teacher there. One of the neat things about starting your own school from scratch is that you get to hire all the faculty. So I, that needs to be your heart and soul of any school is your faculty. And so that foundation needed to be very, very solid, so I wanted to go with people that I knew um, that were um, compassionate, uh, great educators, that um, cared deeply about um, children and their students, and that were great role models. And both Doug and Melissa fit that. I had been working with them at Coronado High School for, I think, six years at the time. So I asked both of them if they would come with me to start the new school. Oh, we've done lots of projects together. I mean, we, from, from scratch, creating the curriculum at this school and the philosophy, that whole foundation that the whole school's been created upon. Prior to that, at, um, at Coronado High School, we worked together and we, on lots of different projects, but the one I think I'm most proud of was the Coronado School of the Arts. Wright Design Program was a, was a program that was uh, created by Ms. McKinstry and Doug, um, and it was the idea was a collaboration and integration of the arts and uh, also literature and writing. It's an amazing website. Teachers from all over the world use it as a reference to teach their classes. And some of them are on our website, which is another collaboration, Right Design, online. I think we complement each other very well because we work very differently. And we both chew on things and let them marinate, I think, before they come to fruition. Because some of our best work has come out of mistakes. It's come out of things that we thought were mistakes. Another thing I think that occurs is Doug remains extraordinarily calm under all circumstances. <laughs> I call him the Zen Master. Wow, we've had tons of projects that we've worked together. Uh, we started with Literary Magazine and we started Write Design, which is pretty incredible. We've got somewhere in the same 900,000 visitors a year to our website that has never been publicized other than just word of mouth. But I think our favorite, most meaningful is our house. We uh, bought a house together almost four years ago, and it was a disaster. Melissa was walking uh, in the neighborhood with Andy Myers, who used to work here and used to work at Coronado. And they found this house, and Melissa said, you gotta see this house. We've been looking for a while, probably a couple of years, and we just didn't find anything that we liked. And it took us about a year before we actually started the restoration. So we started living in the house, and. Uh, after about a year, I think we were ready. We went through lots of design. Every part of that house is just, Melissa's touched it, I've touched it, Sarah's touched it, Charlie's touched it. She's got everything. 